Thank you. Well, new headline from the Wall Street Journal this morning, raising some eyebrows on Wall Street. The only six stocks that matter. The journal says Amazon, Google, Apple and just a few other firms account for the majority of the Nasdaq's gains this year. And some are a little worried about that. Robert, your so-called take on these six stocks, I should say uh, the so-called six stocks that matter. What do you make of this? I mean, Google, Apple, Gilead. I mean, is that does that make for a weak rally, would you say, then? Yes. I mean, when the market is carried by a broad array of stocks mm -hmm. in various sectors, that's strong. So yeah. market breadth is key. Mm -hmm. And yes, if the market is carried by only six stocks, and I've been thinking about this, I mean, it, 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 declining number of stocks are powering this market higher or keeping it afloat because really the market hasn't moved at all this year. Year to date, S&P is up 1%. So if that's shrinking amount of stocks, if one only drops out, then, it's, uh, you know, you, and this is actually what's happened in 1987, that market breadth is, is shrunk uh, to the point there were only like two or three stocks that kept the market higher and then suddenly rolled over. Joe, I know that you are always watching these technology stocks. I mean, there's guys like Robert Van Battenberg, who does nothing else but live, eat, and breathe the markets, yeah. um, as he alluded to over the weekend, just studying the markets. No fun right. allowed. But when he says he's worried about the fact that these six names are carrying the stock, the, the NASDAQ, yeah. I'm concerned. So what does that mean? <laughs> you know, I think if, there's a couple of ways to look at it. Either it will broaden out, otherwise we'll maybe see a pretty big, serious correction that we've talked about before. But you have, if you look at the earnings of these companies, too, you have to remember Amazon, Google, Apple, they perform very, very well every quarter. So it's actually not a surprise that more than half of this, what, $664 billion value add to the NASDAQ is created by these companies. And also biotech's doing relatively well. Facebook, of course, just killing it when it comes to social media. Mm -hmm. um, so it's actually not terribly surprising. But looking at the broader market, of course, if these stocks are the only ones driving one, it certainly says something about the health of the market. All right. And just up.